Do y'all ever go comic book shopping whenever you're out of town and then you get out of town and you're suddenly like, well, crap, I don't have anything to put my comics in to keep them safe on the ride home? Well, if you ever find yourself in this spot, do what I did. Go to Walmart. Okay, so I went to Walmart and I think I bought these for like three or four dollars a piece. They're made by Logix. It's a paper and, paper and craft storage case. And uh, there's the SKU number if you need it, but um, it's a 12, 12.5 uh, 12 by 9.5 by 1.8. Uh, now this one's a little bit taller. I don't know if this will fit a CGC case or not, but 13.8 by 10.6 by 1.8. And for three or four dollars, it's gonna be a way cheaper solution than most other things. Now, if you get a bag, either your Walmart bags or whatever else, you can sort of line these a little bit to keep them from shifting a bunch. But this is gonna give you a really good option for if you're out and about and you don't have something to put your comics in, a real cheap solution for being able to do that. Now, what I like to do is stand these up. Uh, now, this is the first time I've ever used these. I had to buy these on a trip. But what I do with boxes like this is I stand them up in the back seat and put my seat belt across them to keep them from slipping and sliding everywhere. So let's look at how many books you can actually fit in one of these uh, boxes. Okay, so sorry, I don't have my normal camera set up and everything else. I just figured, hey, this is cool. I might as well do the video now. So this is the 13.8 uh, by 10.6 by 1.8. We'll just count the books and I'll be talking about these books in an upcoming video, but just trying to give you all an idea of what we got here. So there's one book. Now this is a thicker book, okay? Two books, three books. That's a thicker book, four do y'all ever go comic book shopping whenever you're out of town and then you get out of town and you're suddenly like, well, crap, I don't have anything to put my comics in to keep them safe on the ride home? Well, if you ever find yourself in this spot, do what I did. Go to Walmart. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13. So you you would probably be able to get a couple more books in here if you didn't have the thick books in there, but that's 13 on this one. Let's flip over and look at the other box. Probably on my next video, I'm gonna see if an actual graded comic would fit in this bigger one because that's really what it's it's better for. So let's just sort of reverse engineer this here. So there's one book, two books, three books, four books. Been on a big Captain America run here lately. Five books, six books. Seven books, eight books, and this is a thicker book. I'll hold it out. Uh, nine books, ten books, eleven books, twelve books, thirteen, and let's just see this one other normal size book if that will fit. It will, so that was, I think, 14. So, and then it's just got these little clamps right here, clasp. It's hard to do this with one hand, but, uh, and like I said, you just line, it would set flatter than that if I messed with it, but just put bags over here on the sides just to take up that gap, but that's exactly you know, what it would look like, and then you're able to haul these a lot safer. So this is just a real quick video on some, if you're out and about and you don't have a box on you or something else to be able to keep the comics safely, you could use something like this and haul at least 14, you know, silver age to uh, modern age books. And just, like I said, use a Walmart sack or something. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. You would 
take a sack and get all the air out and then you use it to like line the sides and line the top or something like that or that's what I'm going to end up doing. Um, and then you keep it from shifting side to side. Anyways, um, it would look something similar to that. And this is, like I said, th this is not a perfect world. In a perfect world, you've got one of those little comic boxes like I've got, and you've put all your comics in there and you're ready to go. But once you do that, you sort of sealed it up a little bit better. Okay, just a simple sack in there. Now you've closed up that gap, get you an extra sack, put it up there at the top, and uh, away we go. So we'll discuss these books that I got in a future video, and uh, we'll go from there. Love you all a long time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.